they named it avant-garde. We were just playing our music. Born 1949 in Worcester, Massachusetts, Paul Murphy grew up in Washington, D.C. A child prodigy drummer, at age seven, Paul began studying with Joseph Levitt, director of percussion at the Peabody Conservatory of Music. By age 11, he was so impressive that Gene Krupa took him on as a student and protege. Within a couple of years, he was also studying with Louis Belson. By age 16, he was playing bebop with Billy Taylor, the Ellington bassist. After playing jazz and blues in the Washington, D.C. scene for four years, he left for the West Coast in 1970. There he started playing avant-garde in L.A. and the Bay Area. At the same time, he was giving percussion master classes at the San Francisco Symphony and the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. In 1974, Jimmy Lyons, Cecil Taylor's legendary alto player, heard Paul play in San Francisco and asked him to come to New York to play on the New York jazz scene. For the next 12 years, Paul played, recorded, and toured the U.S. and Europe with Lyons' pathbreaking group. During this New York period, Paul also led his own quartet with Dewey Johnson on trumpet, Jay Oliver on bass, Karen Borka on bassoon, and Marianne Driscoll on piano. Paul played with spectrum of musicians ranging from John Lee Hooker to Jakey Bayard, Soon Ra, Clifford Jordan, and Eddie Gale. The blow of Jimmy Lyon's death in 1986 caused Paul to drop out of jazz for a year and a half, a period he spent in Las Vegas playing as a stage drummer. In late 1987, he moved back to the Bay Area and back to jazz, playing mostly avant-garde with Glenn Spearman on tenor, William Parker on bass, India Cook on violin, and cellist Cass Killian. In 1990, Paul moved back to Washington, D.C. Ralph Malik, Cecil Taylor's trumpeteer, asked him to play on a Maple Shade recording session. Because of the depth of his abilities, he has recorded extensively with Maple Shade. In the avant-garde arena, he went on to do recording sessions with pianist Joel Funnerman, and most notably, several free jazz duo and trio sessions with Larry Willis. These sessions with Larry established their seemingly telepathic musical bonds and led directly to the powers of two sessions. Playing in a more straight-ahead vein, Paul has done Maple Shade sessions with Clifford Jordan and Ron Blake. Paul's recorded for Cadence and Black Saint and has performed and recorded with Hammett Blewett, Kid Jordan, Marco Anides, and Charles Gale. He also managed one time John Coltrane drummer Rashid Ali's New York City club known as Ali's Alley. In addition to his jazz past, Murphy also has a great deal of commercial recording and touring experience. Now, after too many years of relative obscurity, Paul Murphy is beginning to reemerge as a profound voice in new music. At the turn of the century, a new chapter was opened for Paul. Murphy became very active in music education, finding that his talent and the magic of his story were in high demand, among drum students hoping to take the same path as he had so many decades earlier. In 2006, Murphy again expanded his portfolio and began lecturing and teaching private drum lessons at the Garrett Music Academy in Southern Maryland. 